Hello, How To Bob here, and I have two fuel cans that I want to replace the spout because they take entirely too long to empty out. The ones I'm talking about have the self venting spout. You have to push the spout down so that it relieves the pressure and lets it pour out. So I'm going to start my timer and I'm going to pour one of the cans into the other. Now I have exactly five gallons of diesel fuel in the can. You can see I'm about halfway done now and it looks like it took me about three minutes, 30 seconds to be about halfway through. So I'm now at six minutes, 20 seconds and still going here. I'm going to make sure I get every last drop out and we'll see how long it takes to empty one fuel can into the other with five gallons of fuel in the stock position. How it comes from the store. Okay, so it's completely empty now. Let's take a look at our stopwatch. Completely empty. Stopwatch says that took a total of 7 minutes and 11 seconds. So I've drilled a hole in the back here to give it a little bit more of a vent. So I'll take that out and we'll try it again. We'll see how long this takes. Same spout, same 5 gallons going into another fuel can. Here we go. So we started the timer. And we're now 50 seconds into it and you can see we're down to about right right here or so. So we're almost done. And let's see what the timer says for this gas can. It's completely empty. This fuel can came in at 2 minutes and 40 seconds with the hole. So here's my replacement spout and vent kit. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to it. And I'm going to use a vacuum to suck out any chips so they don't go down in there. Although the spout does have a screen, it's nice not to get the chips down in the gas or fuel can, whichever one you're going to use. So I'm going to use my handy dandy shop vacuum while I'm drilling to hopefully suck out all the chips. Then I can take my vent and push that in. I just drilled a half inch hole for this particular vent and it snaps right into place. Then I can close my lid on the vent. And that takes care of any spillage. Now for the spout, I just take that off and you can see this had a lock there. So I'm going to take that off and I'm going to match up the threads. This particular spout kit came with two different collars here and it looks like this one matches a little bit better. The threads are a little bit closer to what the old one was so I'll just slide that over my spout here and it screws right on so those are a good match. And Now I'm going to go ahead and set my timer up and I'm going to pour with the new spout and the vent open and we'll see what the time reads with a complete five gallons down to here already and we're looking at 45 seconds. Now we're almost done. And let's see what the final time is. And this will show you how to replace the vent and spout on a fuel can. We're in at 1 minute, 23 seconds, completely empty. And there you have it. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.